Hi, James Farr here. I'm live at the NAACP 100th year celebration. I'm going to be talking with you a little bit more with some of the honorees tonight, some of the guests that are visiting tonight. So sit back, enjoy this historic event. the man of the hour, the current president of the NAACP Pasadena branch, Mr. Alan Edson. Alan, we're finally here. At this moment in time, I'm at ease. Uh, you know, we did a lot of planning to put this together. It's nice to see that it's manifested into what it is. Uh, and so tonight's really about having a good time. Mayor Tornick, thank you. How does it feel being here? Oh, this is great. You know, for. For any organization to be able to maintain a presence for a hundred years is really an achievement. And this particular organization has been central to the evolution of Pasadena. And one of the awardees tonight is my son's student at Marshall. Jordan. Yes. Yeah. Excellent That's young man. My, I actually had him on the show. My, my son is his teacher okay. uh, at Marshall High School. and so. Apart from the organizational dynamic of this, there's a personal connection to what's happening here tonight. I feel as though this organization will grow with the great bright minds of tomorrow and the amount of excellence that I see in the streets amongst my, amongst my peers and throughout my school especially, I can tell that um, the future is very hopeful. So I'm here with Supervisor and Catherine Barger, and she is also in her district office as one of the sponsors of tonight's event. Supervisor Barger, thank you so much for being here. What does it mean to be at this event? Well, for me, it means really a celebration, a celebration of 100 years, the NAACP, but also a celebration of the community to see what they've done. And arguably, we are all, many people are here because of the work that they've done, especially when they focus on education, and they continue to give back in the community, and I am so proud to be here today. I think without collaboration it's hard to get anything done, particularly in a diverse community like Pasadena. I also think the underlying values of collaboration are that people work together because they recognize one another as valuable human beings. And there are a lot of differences among people, the difference in background, race, culture, religion, etc. But underneath we're all humans, we're all children of God. And as such, we should work together to achieve what needs to be done here in our community. There were some trailblazers, and I'm only standing up on the shoulders of those persons who really blazed the trail for me. Some didn't do as well as some of the others did, but we all did the very best that we possibly could to make the organization remain vibrant here for 100 years on tonight. I'm here with Laura Farber, who is the president of the Tournament of Roses and this year's upcoming celebration. Well, next year, technically, it's on January 1, and hope is the theme for this year. Laura, you're being honored tonight. What does it mean being honored here by the NAACP? This means a, a lot, not only to me, but to our organization, because we have finally begun to reflect our community, not only in our membership, but in our leadership, and we've done it organically. And I'm so proud of that. I'm proud to be the first Latina in this position. I'm proud of what our organization has accomplished and will continue to accomplish because once those doors open, as far as I'm concerned, they don't shut. This has been one of the uh, uh, foundations for our community long before I was born, and it'll probably be here long after I did. So I'm, I'm good. What do you think the legacy will be of this particular branch here within the city of Pasadena and Altadena? I would say activism. I would say also advocacy, and what's most important, integrity. Historically, the NAACP and police haven't always sat on the same side of the desk. But under your leadership, how are you kind of moving the needle that there's more cohesiveness between the two organizations? Every topic socially is our topic. All of us. It's not one side or the other. So we may disagree on an issue, on a topic. The fact that we're disagreeing in a room and trying to find balance, that's the change. That's the change the rest of the country needs. Once Pasadena is leading this, 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 this aggressive approach to being a better community, other cities around us will see that. So the fact that we could be in a room and talk about tough issues, I think is an achievement in itself.
there are sometimes issues that require you to roll up your sleeves uh, to get in there and you're going to have to fight for an outcome that you desire. The NAACP and the legacy of the people who have served and founded and organized over the years, over the decades, um, it's alive in the spirit of this organization that sometimes you have to go into the trenches, you have to roll up your sleeves, and you have to make change happen. They've been the voice for the community and the marginalized, those that haven't always necessarily had a voice at City Hall. Um, sometimes you have to have the community that represents the community, and that's what the NAACP ACP is for a lot of people that are not prone to coming directly to City Hall. Some of the battles that we are fighting today, we have worked ourselves out of a job. We hope that pay equity for women is no longer an issue. We hope that um, police brutality is no longer an issue. We also look forward to seeing um, more equity in terms of economic development, um, economic prosperity, and being able to see people really have access to build quality of life. This is Miss Betty Jo Ford, and, and she is a totomic figure here in the city, uh, a classically trained pianist. I, I do my research. <laughs> in 100 years, Miss Ms. Ford, what will they say about you here in the city of Pasadena? Well, I did it with my heart. I never let up, but I never stopped. Why stop a good thing? Amen.